In this video, we're going to take a look at node editing. So to do that, let's come up to this icon here for node editing. Let's click on that. And you'll notice my cursor has now changed for my mouse. And if I click on these vectors, you'll notice that we can look at the nodes and the spans that make up these vectors. So you'll notice on the rectangle here that we have a green node. And this is your start node. So this is where effectively the node starts from. And you can notice the little arrow here that indicates the direction of travel around this vector. Now, if I click on one of these nodes and drag with my left mouse click, you can notice that I can bring it all the way up here. I can do the same for the other side. And then you have midpoints between uh, the nodes as well. And if I grab a midpoint and I drag it up, it actually creates a new node and you've got new midpoints in between these nodes here as well. Now you'll notice if I right mouse click while hovering over a node, I get a series of options. I can delete the point or D on the keyboard for a shortcut, smooth the point, S on the keyboard, cut the vector, C on the keyboard, and make start point P on the keyboard. Now while you can access this from the right mouse click menu, you can also just use the shortcut. So it's a good thing to keep in mind that while you, are, you can work with the mouse clicks, you can also make your uh, work a lot more efficient by using some of the shortcut keys to save a lot of time there. But for now, what we're going to do is just delete this point. So let's have a look at that in action. So if we delete that point, it's now deleted that point and returned it to where it was earlier because that point no longer exists. Now, if we come up to the top left here, if we right mouse click this one and go for smooth point, it now smooths out that point. What that means is we now have these handles here for this Bezier curve between these nodes here and here and these nodes here and here. So we can manipulate that curve as we need to based on the handle. So we can just drag that out and we can change that. You can see how powerful that is. Uh, likewise, what you can actually do is right mouse click and make that straight again. And if you use the handles, we can bring that down to that straight point again and we can bring this one straight back in again and it's back to how it was originally. We can also look at cutting a vector. So if we right mouse click up here and cut this node here, and then we cut this one, you'll now notice I've got a start point over here. That's because this is a separate uh, vector now. So that is its own vector. If I move that up and up, you can see that's its own vector. Uh, so what we can do is use that to cut up any vector. So if your workflow requires that you need to get rid of a section or separate some sections out, you can do that and you can escape on the keyboard to get out node editing mode and you can pop this down for example so you can make your workflow nice and clear so you can see where these pieces lie. Now if we choose this bottom uh, vector now and press N on the keyboard for node editing mode, if I right mouse click here you'll notice I also get options for properties. Now if I click on that uh, you can see I can do absolute or relative moves for that node. So let's do a relative move and if I want to move this one one inch uh, vertically for example I can put in here uh, one, hit apply and that will now move that up. Uh, by one inch uh, relative to where it uh, was previously. And if I want to move it back, I can just do a relative move from where it was and just do minus one, and I can move it back to where it was uh, originally. You can also right mouse click on a span. So if I right click on this, I can turn it to a bezier, and then I can manipulate this as needed to make different shapes. I can right mouse click the one, this one and make it a uh, arc. So you can see how powerful it is uh, to easily turn your vectors into something else. So if you need arcs or beziers, you can see how useful this is and how quickly you can do it using some of the shortcuts or right mouse click menu. Now what about open vectors? Well in this case what we can do is right mouse click on one of the endpoints and we can choose uh, the option here to uh, edit a polyline and this will open up the polyline form and what we can do now is draw a polyline to actually join this all up. So if I just make a rough shape here and join it all up and then right mouse click to come out of this menu. You'll notice this is now one solid vector. So it's a closed vector now. Uh, so you can see how node editing allows you to also close uh, open vectors. Now let's go back into node editing with, with N on the keyboard and let's go over to the text now. It's good to note that you can't actually edit uh, text with node editing mode because it's not a vector so text entities can't be node edited. But you can see here we've got the option here on the software that uh, tells you that we can actually convert this text into a vector and what we can do is then convert it into a vector and then that means we can now have a look at editing it. So if I click on it I can now left mouse click and select these nodes here and I can drag these up and I can now edit the text uh, to look like how I want it to look. But keep in mind this is no longer text, this is actually a vector. So this is no longer a text entity. So if I go into the text form, this will no longer be recognized as a uh, text uh, entity. This is actually now just a vector. 
Now moving on, we can actually uh, edit vectors in unison, and I'll show you how to do that. So if we hold shift, select our first vector and select our second vector. Now what I'm going to do is left mouse click and drag and select these two nodes here. Now if I press H for horizontal on the keyboard, you notice this line appears. Now if I use my arrow keys to move right and left, you'll notice these two move in unison as if there's a mirror in the middle, which is represented by that uh, line in the middle there. Similarly, if I click out of that and I select all four of my vectors and I highlight these nodes over here and press V, I can then move these with up and down, left and right, and so I can manipulate these all at once uh, using node editing, so you can see how powerful the tool really is. And then to exit node editing, you can either hit escape on the keyboard or right mouse click, right mouse click again, and you are now out of node editing. And that concludes our short tutorial on how to use node editing.